a quick review after our review? I, I may have. What you got there? Uh, Aji Limon? Madame Jeanette? Madame oh, Jeanette. Madame Jeanette. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, so, I couldn't see the blistering through the, the screen. That's awesome, man. Yeah, let me yeah, uh, These are the last ones that I actually have from my garden. Everything in the field is gone. These are just small. I had one that was 37 grams, actually, which is huge. Wow. It's about that size. It was a monster. So, but uh, awesome. Sheriff Dervish wanted to know what these peppers are like. So, sorry? That's awesome. At the beginning of the season, they were gigantic. I couldn't believe yes. how huge they were. This is actually my favorite pepper. And they grow from nice light green to a yellow one. And uh, Sharon Dervish asked us if we could do a review because he's growing them next year and he wants to know what they look like. They go to a dark orange as well. And it's kind of hard to see here. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. <laughs> Slightly different pepper, but looks good. And that, that's my them. growth for this year. Like there's really that's a apocalypse scorpion. And I got the Carolina Reaper. Looking good. But those are like the best of the bunch. Like, and I mean, this is my year's harvest. Okay. Oh, dear. Yeah. Well, this is the, I, this I've, is tried, I've tried. I've tried. Uh, hey, it's sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So this is the inside of the pepper, actually. I mean, as you can see, this nice. is one of the few peppers where the actual placenta goes all the way down to the bottom. A lot of peppers, you know that they just stick right to the top. And then at the bottom, there's a hole where there's nothing. That's why a lot of people, when they do pepper eating competitions, they chop off the bottom and they give the rest to somebody else because they will be basically burning up. Uh, this is my favorite pepper. A little bit of a background behind this. It smells really good. Um, this is the most common pepper in used in the Netherlands. And that is because of the people that actually moved from Suriname and from um, India they brought the heat with them, and I have been missing this pepper for the last 15 years that I've been living here in Canada. How hot is it? It is about the heat level of a habanero. Okay. Or up. It's got a completely a little, different flavor. A little up. A little up. Yeah, a little up. And actually, I'm going to have Angela try a piece as well. Just but the I'm tip. Not give, I'm not going to give her just the, the tip. Uh, I just get the tip. She gets the tip. <laughs> So I'm actually cutting off a piece that doesn't have any placenta in it. It usually yeah. does the job, so. <laughs> I'm not going to say what I was thinking. I, I can handle the tip. Oh, my God, that's so small, I go. <laughs> well, there you go, then. That's what she said, huh? James makes it say Tony should grab a pod. And Lucy's just killing himself. <laughs> so this He's is like actually. He can ask. This, the, the scent of this is, is a very, very. I, I should ask Greg. Greg, do you know any other pepper that smells like this? It it, it smells uh, it smells floral, but I know the flavor isn't floral. That if that makes sense, it it, it smells to me like it's going to be nasty, but it, it doesn't taste nasty. Now I, I want to point out also that this pepper was named after an infamous Brazilian prostitute, so it's <laughs> going to be a spicy one, right? Oh yeah, she's spicy. <laughs> don't don't end up with an unpronounceable disease though. Whatever you do. <laughs> All right, guys. I got a jet. Uh, I gotta go get my uh, my spine cracked. So sounds good. Thanks for jumping in. I really appreciate it, Max. Anytime, guys. And uh, any questions uh, of any kind, you know, please just ask. You know, it's all good. All right. Take care. Putting your thing across the bottom while we carry on and. I'll see you again sometime soon, hopefully. All right, take care. Yeah. All right, take let's this part. You the whole one, or you gonna have one? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bite it in half and then go for the second half after. I don't want to put the whole thing in my mouth in one shot. I'll, I'll bite okay. it. And go for a I'll take the biggest half then. And <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm a crumb. <laughs> Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Sounds crunchy, very crunchy. Flavor that is is hinting floral, but not floral. Mm. 
kinky floral? Hinting. Hinting. Oh, hink, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I can taste a little bit of floral, but it's not like um, it's not going to give me the power wiggle or anything like that. So this is a great pepper to cook with. It's got good heat to it. It's not overpowering. It's got a very distinct flavor. The moment that you actually put it in a wok or in a stir frying pot, or I make a, a garlic sauce oh, yeah. with it, yeah. seven of these peppers, 740 mils of, uh, what do you call it? Um, Mayo. Mayonnaise, a whole head of garlic, a little bit of chives, and that's basically it. It's a very simple recipe, but it is absolutely amazing. So I can confirm that unless you have placenta, there's no heat because that piece I had, and I had two little slivers, crumbs, there was there was really no heat. What I get right now is I can feel it on my tongue. Can I have another piece? A little bit. Some placenta? I'd like some placenta, please. Ooh. Uh, I'm leveling up. Who said leveling up? So I'll give my review now. So for me, the heat is out of a, maybe like a two out of 10. It's, it's very mild to me. And I know for sure that the sauces with it end up hotter than than the pot itself, and I, I love that about it that it, it's uh, it's it, it's like the what the, the the total is more than the sum of its parts, right? So the the, the Madame Jeanette flavor is incredible. It hits me not painful like a habanero. I doesn't have the pins and needles burn. Yeah, <laughs> a little warm, uh, but uh, for me the the heat isn't ridiculous, but the flavor is incredible. The, uh, the aftertaste that you get once the pod's gone and then you, you get to really s soak in, in the, uh, the flavor. And it's really different flavor than, than most other peppers that I've had. And uh, not brutal heat. I wouldn't say it's... It's brutal for us, for me. <laughs> for, yeah, Holy for crap. Me, I guess. <clears throat> oh, and if you get it in your throat, that's not a good thing either. <clears throat> yeah. But uh, yeah. I can feel the heat burning on my on my tongue, and it is there, but it's not nearly as painful as any of the super hot. It is hotter than a habanero, most likely. It's got a long lingering build, but it's not stupid hot. As soon as Greg says it was hitting around about a two, maybe a three, I was thinking, should Angela be having some of that placenta there? <laughs> yeah, for the you saw that. The first bite had no heat. I'm thinking, it's not that spicy. But like I said, the treacherous thing about this thing as well is that the placenta goes all the way down into the bottom of the actual pepper. So yeah. it doesn't matter where you hit it. If you don't cut it off, you will hit placenta. So I get uh, I get initially a, a citrusy kind of a flavor. I get a kind of a lemon lime, orange kind of a, a citrus uh, sensibility to it at first. And uh, I love the way the heat is just really consistent. It doesn't. It doesn't seem to spike. It doesn't. It doesn't punch you in the mouth and then and then go low. It just kind of. It's so even. The heat is just perfectly even. Uh, yeah, I, like, I get the raccoon sweats. I mean, that's what I do yeah. get from heat. I, I I'm sweating too. Yeah. A little bit. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure, sweater tears, but. Uh... So there for uh, Sam Dervish. He's not in the house. Uh, we'll have to make sure he gets to see this later. He wanted yeah, yeah, to sure. review. Cam, sorry. I, I, I never know if the C is hard or soft. Or... It's actually Jim. Oh. Jim. Yeah. Jim, okay. What language oh, did Jim. it become a J? Um, Will we... Try... Hey, Tony, try my name in Dutch. Rach. Oh, no, Rach. Yeah. That sounds more... Uh... Oh, a guttural? A Amish or something. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should be an ogre in a swamp. No? no sure. <laughs> Shrek. How are you doing, dear? I'm okay. <laughs> that was a yummy pod. I got to say, that's a delicious pod. I could eat a bunch of those. That's really yummy. Super flavorful. And it um, makes yeah. a wicked sauce, too. When we it comes have... to heat, I'll listen to uh, crumbs. <laughs> so yeah. some of the plants this summer we were picking to um when the frost came two or three weeks early thank you mother nature we were getting 200 pods bigger than this off each plant each plant so it's a very prolific plant grows well harvests early <clears throat> i pulled enough of them to know holy yeah, smoke you're no <laughs> kidding eh? <laughs> yeah that was brutal and to mother nature a 
a big one of those. Yeah. And, uh, and, and my, my babies at the side haven't even had a bit of problem. They're, they're still going strong. I think I'm going to harvest them probably before Saturday because the Saturday is supposed to be the first real frost. I've, we've already had a real frost, I know. But, We're getting uh, 22 on Friday. Yeah, it's, it's insane. 22 Mother Celsius, whatever that is. Oh, 2272 for those in the U.S. of A. Yeah. So it's not bad for October. Oh, Heiko, I wanted to say we got to review those rimmerists, those giant rimmerists. We got to eat one of those. Please, <laughs> yes. We have, I picked these yesterday from our front garden. They don't look pleasant. <laughs> What's the heat on these? Oh, they're a. Uh, Probably your own scorpion. Okay, I <laughs> <laughs> and, and potentially, if there's a rogue pod, it could be t potentially hotter than a reaper for sure. Yeah, exactly. It's it's a very strange pod. Last season we had them, and they were they ate like cherries. They were like dry, dried cherries. The meat was really chewy, and the pit, the seed sack was almost like a pit. I've never seen another pod like it. Really thick walled pod, but last year they were much smaller. The ones you grew this year are just I'm okay. <laughs> God, that was hot. I think I think I'm gonna have to do some CPR in Angela. <laughs> I think I got a piece stuck somewhere in my mouth. But but no hindlick maneuver, right? Yeah, no I know hindlick. hindlick. No. <laughs> Either way. There's nothing worse than when you've got a little bit of seed or something just stuck in one place and you, you're trying to get it with your tongue and it's just burning. <laughs> it, it's fun. Normally, I watch other people do this and react and stuff, but it's just been the last couple of weeks. I thought, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try and increase and level up. And I actually put this in my coffee this morning. Or Michael did five drops, Greg. I put five drops in. Wow. Yeah, I know, eh? That's the, uh, that's the, the Caribbean tincture? That's a Caribbean, yep. Yeah. So good. Starting at the beginning. That's a good thing. We'll, Two we'll drops, really no, no reaction. Go and uh, yeah. when you have English toffee, then you'll know that you've you've arrived. That that is the most delicious tincture I have ever tasted, bar none. And uh, in a coffee or a hot chocolate, it is just mind-bogglingly good and crazy hot too. Check back in a week or two. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get there. So uh, Anna, Anna's thrown down the gauntlet, right? So, uh, uh, Anna, watch out. I'm coming has, right up behind you. <laughs> she has eaten the white lightning, and now she is a, a League of Fire. And uh, so you're not far behind. No, I'm not. Plus, uh, I don't know if the uh, one of the Pocky chips has your name on it. I don't oh, know. Oh, I've heard about those. Uh, it doesn't have my name on it, though, does it? See? This is Saturday, I believe, right, Heiko? We're going to be doing this on Saturday? <laughs> I don't know. There's nothing with my name on it. Pass them a pen it soon, we'll have. Oh, crap. There you go. Got, your Got name my on name that. on it. <laughs> just, just so everybody knows, Max is a, uh, wants to do one. So, um, Gazoo, so Gazoo has told me, whatsoever harm I shall do to the boy, she shall do unto me. So, <laughs> it should be very interesting to watch the video and know just how much pain I'm going to be in for as a, as a payback for what I, whatever it pain I put through Max through. So Water of the year as always. Hey, once again. <laughs> Cheers. This is fun. This is, this is actually pushing your limits is is a lot of fun. So I'm enjoying I think, this. I think for Max he is gonna be a severe challenge for him. I, I'm surprised Andrew hasn't done the white lightning Mike because yes. that one Yet. I got it. I got it here. So one's got a name on it. Yeah, I'm building up a little bit because like two weeks ago, I didn't put pepper on my food. So black pepper, I'm working like... Because I got white pepper. I, I, I saw you put some mustard menace on some schnitzel. Yeah, just a, it was only a drop. Though. It was only a crumb worth. So it was not very much. It was really good. But damn delicious, right? Yes. Yes, I'm surprised because I'm like, I, I walk away, I, you know, like, mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> my mouth's still burning, but uh, your mouth burning? Yeah, you can feel it, yeah. yeah. I've yeah. got a good tingle going. i got a real good burn going. Okay, good. Yeah, and I got a great thing about this pot is it's got a good longevity as well. 
it moved to my lips too so i didn't like that so not, not quite like the lemon bob i think that one's the overall winner for uh, lasting for a half an hour 30 minutes later i'm still ringing yeah that was just insane i love lemon bob the name just the name though yeah what am i going to call this pepper bob I'm bob. Bob. <laughs> okay thank you heather because one of my friends has said that I would call him Bob. And then I tasted it. It tasted like lemon. She said, lemon Bob. So there you go. <laughs> it's on the ingredient leaf. It's actually right here. It's in the pumpkin pie roll. Lemon Bob is in here. It's on the label. The 2021. Which is... 2020. I think so, they're landing very soon in Belgium. Yes, they should oh. be. Well, guys, it's getting late here in the UK. So I'm going to have to say good night to... That's, that's how we actually let people know in, the, in Canada that the lights go in. I think uh, your namesake has come for you. In the dark like an outback. <laughs> Thank you for everything. Thank you, Tony, yeah. for hosting us. Lucy. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'm going to get away with one time just going, fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> And there's his helmet. <laughs> and I'll say good night, Echo. Uh, see you later. <laughs> good to see you guys. Well done, Angela. I'll let you get off there with your little burn and your, your apple juice. <laughs> that was a little bit of fun night with Heiko Kriegsman, Kriegsman and Greg Frank Marcus from Fire in the Hall. I'm going to try and say it. Max, get. No, I'm not. Max from the ammo box i'm not even going to try and say his last name because i've forgotten it already dark cupboard in the corner bruce of the sun see you later i'm out of here guys